As you can see, they were in a little bit of a hole. Hey there, friends. Boy, do I have a treat for you today. So we are gonna be taking off from the shop and heading up to a place called Big Pine Sports in Fairview, Utah. Now we got some really cool stuff to share with you guys, but it's gonna be a secret. But it is gonna be something we're giving away to one of you at the Off-Road Games next week, March 14th through 16th must be present to win. I don't want to totally give it away, but it might be a super cool, we'll just call it a side-by-side. -side. Come along with me and let's go check it out. We're going to be pulling up to Big Pine Sports and picking up that surprise that we're going to be giving away to one of you awesome people that are present at the off-road games in Hurricane, Utah. So we've came up here, we've teamed up with Big Pine Sports and CF Moto to give one of you lucky people at the off-road games the CF Moto side-by-side. So this is Jared, he's the owner of Big Pine Sports. He's gonna tell us a little bit about what this machine is and what one of you lucky people are gonna be taking home. Awesome, thanks for coming in. It's good to see you up yeah, here at Big Pine. So the CF Moto 950 Sport, this thing is going to be perfect in Sand Hollow. It's got good power, it's got good suspension, it's got good underbelly skid plate protection, it's got a winch on there, you got the front bash guard, bumpers integrated, everything. We've got killer headlights on this machine. I absolutely love the headlights on here, whether you're gonna be out in the daytime or at night, you're gonna be able to see, you're gonna be able to get out and experience not only Sand Hollow, but Moab and everywhere else else. The suspension on this machine is phenomenal. It's got a great ride. You've got a nice piggyback shock. It is adjustable. You've got aluminum wheels, a nice tire that's going to work well in all environments. I absolutely love the interior of the machine. It's got an actual full door. We've got a lot of cool things on the inside from an adjustable seat, tilt steer, even cool LED lighting throughout the machine. Four wheel drive, of course, you got to have that in Sand Hollow. You got tons of storage everywhere plenty of switch places to put all the accessories and everything you're gonna need inside around the back let's check this out so not all machines come equipped like a CF moto does on this 950 sport this is standard right we're always looking for a good spot a good place to put some of our cargo our tire repair our food our snacks it's even sealed it's gonna keep all the elements out of whatever's inside cool looking rear end nice exhaust Two inch receiver hitch is standard on there as well. LED tail lights, they look phenomenal. But I'll tell you what, you can't beat a CF Moto and you can't beat one for free. Exactly. I mean, let's give this thing away. How are we gonna do it? So when you guys come out to San Paulo to the off-road games next week, you're gonna come by the booth, you're gonna be able to enter for free to win the CF Moto 950. You're also gonna get an extra entry if you buy merch from us. So make sure you stop by the booth and one of you lucky people are gonna be taking this home. Now, you do have to be present to win. So come out, enjoy the weekend, hang out for Saturday, we're gonna have the exact time and location where we're giving this away posted at my booth So come check us out, but I think we should get this thing loaded so we can go and enjoy it for Let's a day Let's get too. you out of here. So if you are coming to the off-road games, it is no purchase necessary All you got to do is scan the QR code and you are entered for free get an extra entry by buying merch from us We're gonna be launching some super awesome stuff. I'm not gonna show you today We're gonna show you that on Sunday's video I think you guys are gonna like it and we are gonna offer that online and in person at the off-road games So if you haven't got your tickets, make sure you go to over to Matt's webpage because they are selling out quickly We can't wait to see you guys there. Can't wait to give one of you awesome fans this CF Moto 950 Sport. We got a recovery to go on, so let's get to work. All right, another day, another recovery. So we got the boss, we got Colin and me, and we're headed back to our most favorite place, Wells Canyon. It's been like a few weeks. Oh, that's not Cody. <laughs> oh my gosh, it does look like Cody. I just thought that was Cody. <laughs> that was, we just honked at somebody that we thought was our employee Cody, but it was just his doppelganger. Sorry, Cody look-alike. So we got a guy stuck in the mud and snow. He fell in a ditch. Not really sure exactly how bad it's gonna be, but we've got some cool people going with us today. So in the Trekker, we got Hillbilly and our friend Haley from Onyx Off-Road. We've got the S10 with Colt built it and our buddy Josh from Onyx. So we've got a full crew. I think we're gonna have plenty of people to get this truck out and we're gonna have fun doing it. I can't remember the last time we took King Fred, but oh, check this out. Here comes Colt in the S10. I brought the old smoke show. Okay, well, I don't remember the last time we filled Fred up, so it'll probably take like 17 gallons. Who knows? Oh. 
All right, so it took like eight, nine gallons. So we were basically empty. We're just in Chester, turning off to head up to Wells Canyon. And we're gonna stop and kind of get a game plan with everybody, get everybody on the same page. Like I said, it may not be that bad, but the last recovery we did with the box van, we didn't think was that bad and it was, it was that good. So we're pretty excited. We love recoveries, especially in the mud and snow. All right, so we made it to the base of Wells Canyon. Let's get out. Let's get a game plan with Hillbilly. Yeah, all right, buddy. What do you think? I don't know. She's annoyed. I'm just here to film. She can hold the remote. That's a good oh. job for you. <laughs> you ready, Hillbilly? I'm always ready. Oh. Are you ready? I'm good. All right, so we just met up with the customer. They're actually in a razor behind us. They said they've been trying all morning. So we're thinking it might be sitting on the frame or something, but we'll get up here, we'll find it. And we're gonna get them out because we have plenty of help. It's like the road gets narrower as the time goes on. <laughs> we can hear the old jackrabbit yeah i had to put him four wheels back there but didn't have enough momentum on my side all right so we're here with ammon he's the driver he got stuck last night so they've been stuck for a little while he came back today tried to get it out we think it's sitting on the frame what our thoughts are we've got colt pulling from the rear we're gonna put hillbilly in the driver's seat once we get all hooked up we're gonna king fred over here i think we're gonna try to tie off to the base of this tree if we can and that's going to keep us tied and we'll run a line out here try to pull that thing sideways colt's going to be snatch blocking off a tree trying to pull it back up out of the mud you know hopefully what it forgot? goes what oh we forgot our radio let me start making a note on the yeah we need a <laughs> camera we need a pre-trip yeah we need a pre-trip procedure so that we know that we can grab our radios that would have been really good right now to communicate with, Colt. with all of us yep with everybody so anyway let's get king fred in position and get this thing out so looking at this tree, we've got plenty of room to grab around the base. It's got like four trees in one. So what I'll do is I'm gonna get King Fred just right up here. We'll use the front winch. Yeah, we'll use the winch to pull into it. So we'll grab a strap, get it hooked up. We're getting this sucker out. It's a beautiful day. I'm gonna have a snowball fight with the boss. Ah. Just kidding. That's how you die. It's really soft right here. So I'd stay yeah, about no, I'm, right I'm where you're at. Down. Pretty soft. Nobody. Oh, oh. It's a hole. Your hole. There's a hole there. And the Chimino. Oh, get down in here. <laughs> Pass it right down through here. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to use the boom. And we're going to go up high and pull from that bottom side. We want to get a little bit of lift out of it. So I'll lower the leg. Okay, pull it out. I asked Robbie which hook he wanted to go to. So we're going to go to the hook close to the ditch. So then it will want to pull it over better. But first, safety first. Okay, we got our soft shackle going down through the eyelet. And then we'll hook the winch. Slide the knot down. You're gonna be in it. We're gonna try it with like minimal amounts of power throttle. <laughs> turn, Utilizing turn minimal faster. amounts of throttle. Because you're pulling backwards, sideways, and we're pulling forwards. I'm pulling so directly trying to, sideways yeah, right now. Yeah, we're yeah. trying to get him to... My okay. thought was, because your line's going to come forward with us, so if he goes fully driver, okay. then we can bring it sideways. Works for me. Colt's going to be working the rear. We're putting Hillbilly in the driver's seat. So I've got my boom all the way out, so that if I need, I can put some upward pressure. 
and be winching. All right, so we're gonna put Colton up on the hill. We're gonna have Damry over here out of the way and man of the hour. Might be a little bit of struggle depending on how the truck wants to go, but we'll get it out. I'm gonna sit and watch here, make sure something's gonna catch. We don't wanna really damage the truck at all. So if I see anything that's going to, that could cause damage, then I'm gonna stop it and we'll assess it and everything like that, so. Hey Bill, you ready? Pull it. I'm ready. And just like that, you know, we like to assess everything, make a plan, and it usually goes pretty good. All right, so that went exactly as planned. So <laughs> I don't even know what else to say other than it worked perfect. Let's go check out what it was in. That was holy crap. Yeah. That's a little bit of mud. That worked out pretty good. All right, so this is why they were stuck. <laughs> as you can see, they were in a little bit of a hole. Yep, it damaged it just like I thought. So he did get a little bit of damage on the side of the truck, but we didn't add any more damage to it. We got the truck out just like we thought. Now what we've got to do is get it down the road and get him flipped around so we can get headed back down the road. So that'll be the next thing we do, but look at this. So we're just going to back him down, get him flipped around and get him on their way because we're going to we're going to Shallons as a reward. We're taking what? all the we're taking the whole crew to Shallons so they can experience oh, it. Oh, that's my favorite. Me too. Yeah. What's the name of this place? It's called Shallons. Shallons? Yeah. But well, they don't they have anything you can eat. Things right. They have ice cream. Oh man. <laughs> <sighs> so you guys might have seen that I had my boom extended all the way out fully, and the reason for that is I wanted some lift. So I, I extended the boom all the way out. We started winching, and then I started creating upward force because I wanted to lift that lower section out of the mud and it worked. It was just a hairball idea. That idea worked. Winch in. How was it? It was nice. Don't forget we got to unhook the front winch. You don't want to try to drag it through yet? No. Okay, you're good. Okay, you're good. Hey, let's get the truck turned around and then we'll get Fred turned around. So, hopefully you back it up. Do not back it in that rut. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't put it in the ditch. I mean, I wouldn't have to wait long to someone to show up to help me get unstuck. Yeah, that's true. We're here. It's a good 40 That's good. All right, well, if you get stuck again, call us. Thank you, appreciate it. Absolutely. So, oh, good luck. Thank you. See ya. Have fun. The tow truck really needs their mirrors. Its mirrors put back on. So me and Robbie are playing trusting each other. He's gonna trust me to guide him down this hill because he has no mirrors. So I could either send him off that way or into the ditch. Okay, passenger a little bit. Passenger, oh, hold stop. This is not going good. I think he, he did was, that on oh. purpose. Yeah, I think he was messing with me. Take two. <laughs> I got something for him. Let's see if he trusts me. Whip it. <laughs> see? <laughs> All right, let's go reward the crew. So we got the call, we got him out, we got fed, and we made it back to the shop. So as always, we appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one.